Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James, hope you guys are all doing well. We continue with some more Complete the Ark and Scorched Earth. Today we're going to be tackling the ruins of Nosti and hunting for our final artifact, the artifact of the Destroyer. And I've saved the best cave till last, we of course only need this final artifact and we can fight the Manticore, just a few things to do there but I really do like this area. And if you're interested in the lore at all of Ark, the notes from Raya explained what happened here, how the obelisks destroyed this city. And the entrance to the cave is just through here. I'll just grab some water before I head in there. And you can now get in there. It used to be blocked since, of course, the addition of the cryopods used to have to be able to duck to get in through this gate here, but they've removed this entrance so you can just walk in. As always, I'm just going to shove a crate outside the cave so I can stack artifacts. Of course, on this map there are no otters, so we've just been making do with putting a crate outside. I generally like to do that anyway. Okay. Let's just get Vex out. I've pretty much managed to do all of the caves on that file of Collio. So, definitely my preferred way of tackling these three caves, at least on this map. And I'll just stick a torch on Vex as well. Helps highlight things down there. Okay. Now we'll just take our time, don't want to rush in. I don't have any antidote, or lesser antidote. Because on Scorched Earth, of course, it takes the Death Worm horns. And yeah, they're hard to get. I just need to gamma up. There we go. That's better. I can see a little bit. So yeah, I need to take it easy. Of course, the Amphipolora in here, we can destroy your armor. Then, before you know what, you can get diseased rabies. So, just need to go slow. I think there's a note from Raya just here. May as well grab that. I'm going to be using it for anything else. Just some details on the door here. I think that just represents the three obelisks. Of course, right, right up until the obelisk destroyed this city, her and the whole community here worship the obelisks. Yeah, I just love the details in here. So, and come across anything nasty just yet? Hopefully, everything spawns in properly. Generally, does. around the corner here and down the bottom here is where the mural of the manticore is. Love this part. See some shadows down there. Yeah, just how the ray of light comes in and hits that mural there. I really do like that. So I think in the next episode we will be taking on the manticore. I've got a couple of things to do between episodes. I've got Three more saddles to make and oh, oh. oh just missed that megalania wasn't looking it was close again keep getting caught out by them so yeah i've got uh, a few more rexes to breed level and just a few more saddles to make so in the next episode we'll be taking on the gamma manticore Go. Some animals. Let's go up here. I can hear Amphiboras. Probably behind, oh, they're behind me. I can 
hear another one somewhere. Because it's spitting at me, but... Okay. So I think this way just leads back the way we came. It just comes in a circle. So we'll continue going down. Rock and crystal formations in here as well. Right. There's an ampro there. Even though I've still got the primitive rifle, it does do increased damage against the ampros if you can actually hit them. Okay. Failing that, try and jump. The first attack is always to spit, so it helps to just jump there first. That's another reason I like doing the caves on the Phylocolio for that. Now with the bleed damage as well. Which is great. Can't beat the Phylocolio. Okay. Just continue down here. Entrances and doors. I think there's an ampro just there. So I can really could do with a decent rifle. Only tools wise, the last episode managed to take out that alpha dragon. I did get a ramshackle pickaxe and an apprentice hatchet. But yeah, just wait. Oh, um, over encumbered. I was just trying to jump this first spits there, so just kiss goodbye to our first set of armor. And here's where the problem lies, of course. If I now get bit by a bat stand more chance of getting a disease so the lesser antidotes just a little bit harder to craft on here so I've bought plenty of food worst comes to worst just put our other armor on and yeah got some leggings and some pants okay could do with some more of the desert armor. Be using that when fighting the mine mana core. It's probably the best option I have. Just is that a some megalania or amphro? in on me. Okay. So we've got this resine ravine here and it is bottomless so you don't want to be falling down that. There's sometimes a loot drop that spawns there so it is a trick. If we see it I'll point it out but I will point the ledge out to you. And now there's two ways to get down here. We can either go to our right or down our left. We'll, we'll go around in a circle. Go the opposite way. You don't actually have to jump over the ridges here. So I'd... Just bring these bats over towards us. That was a hit arc. Should have really bought my scope. Usually have one rifle for scoping and one for trank. Okay. So 
yeah, this is a bottomless pit here, so just really want to be careful if you're going to come this way around, jump over these little ridges here. Sometimes to the right hand side down there you might see a loot crate and think could be tempted to grab it with a grappling hook but it is a trap so it's just over that way on a ledge sometimes. While we're up here we'll just bring a couple more of those bats over towards us. Answer. Just that'll fall down. from that range. But yeah. You can always try and if you get any of the rock golems try and shoot them. Bring them this way. Just fall to their deaths. Okay. Almost made a mess of that one. Okay. So we've got this church here as well. Just sat back here. Oh, rock golem. I just destroy this one. I usually just leave them alone, but just so we can show off some of the ruins on the first run, I'll uh, I'll take them out. Haven't really used all of the rockets. It's just they're so expensive. I think for the most part, I just avoid them. Hey, let's what we'll use some of these rockets up. You get about f five or six shots with the rocket launcher out the most before it destroys as well. Go. So yeah, just this little church here sunken down. Really nice. Artifact of the destroyer, which is kind of ahead of us now. Just make sure I take out any of these amphros. No loot crates as of yet. Say a nice shotgun would be nice. Got one of these scatter grenades, which were exclusive to Scorched Earth. Found them in a drop. Kind of effective at getting some aggro, but yeah, I picked a couple of those up in some drops, so I think I may as well use them. one out as well because it's right in front of the artifact.
problem, of course, of trying to drag them to the side. If you get hit by one of the rocks, you'll get knocked off yourself. We could run a far enough away for it to just go back into its rock form. I think it might already be going back into its rock form. But we'll get rid of it. Our rocket launcher might have fired that one just a bit too close. Did quite a lot of splash damage the rocket launchers. Might just be low enough to take out with a Philo. Does the bleed effect on the rock guns as well. Okay, I've got one more, so I reckon only one more shot will do it. Don't want to hit it too close though. End up blowing ourselves up. Just come around this side. Here we go. That should do it. Okay. They're not full size rock golems, of course. They're only the cave rubble golems. Still pretty powerful. Love this area. It looks like some sort of Colosseum here as well. So, just like the details that they put on this lost world. Again, Not sure what's on the door there. Yeah, the again the three triangles representing all of the obelisks there, and the artifacts just in this room here. Artifact of the Destroyer. Just double check there's no Megalania around here. So I am going to camp this cave out for the day. Get four or five artifacts, see what loot spawns in here. Like I say I could do with some more armor or even better, a gun. So we'll just see what the loot gods give us. Here, of course, is the skin for the sword. And yeah, all of the Scorched Earth artifacts had a free skin in them. Kind of like that idea. Okay, so if we continue up this way, might find a loot crate up here, but we can come back round. Three of them. Coming in and out of this direction to get the artifact. Don't have to jump across the ravine. Can just sort of jump down, but I'll just come over here. It's just down this way that this other loot drop can sort of spawn. There's a ledge just up in front of me, right across there. You think with a grappling hook you can actually get it, but if you drop below a certain line you will die. It's sort of just that ledge right in front of us there. So just ignore that one. If it does spawn there, it is a trap. Okay. So we'll just come out the top. We'll get rid of everything. Here, a Titan Burr somewhere. Yep. Okay, we've got a red loot drop just here. So it's certainly worthwhile doing the circle. Get something good. So, <laughs> Lime rent or saddles. Yeah. Pretty poor. I haven't actually tamed a mantis on this map. Not really any need to. Okay. 
just drop down here and of course with the fire though you can just pretty easily climb up this way as well. Out. Things are just spawning back in on our way out. Rubble golem spawned in as well. We'll just ignore that one. Now we've kind of explored the cave. We'll just run past the golems. Plenty of stuff spawning in behind us quick. I have found that with the Scorched Earth Caves. Can go in first time. Can seem like there's not as many things in here, but on the way out, they soon start spawning in. See a ray of light there. That might be an amp pro. <laughs> Just chooses to fall off the wall right at that moment. There's <laughs> a hit. There we go. Had a better long neck. And I'm just coming to the left hand side on the way out, just in case the loot crates spawned on this way. I think we just stopped around here, so. Spitting attacks as best as I can. Goes our torch. Okay. So, yeah, I'll camp this cave and have a hunt around for some more loot. I need to grab at least four more artifacts, so keep them coming. Just sort of give it ten minutes or so. We'll come back in. Well, let's see what this one gives us. Oh! Nice, nice. Ascendant pants. Okay. Well, that's good. We've got the chest piece and the gloves and now the pants as well. Just in the nick of time, actually. Because I keep on getting hit by Amphros. So, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Just going to get another artifact. Oh. <laughs> and as soon as we get our desert pants, we lose them. <laughs> Let's just see. Yeah, they don't last long in here. Okay. Well, I'm pretty much down to that. I'll have to make some cloth stuff just for a little bit of protection. Still got chest and pants. Okay. Well that about covers it for the Ruins of Nosti. We have now got enough artifacts to face the Manticore 
and of course between episodes I will be working on the army I've just got a few more saddles to craft and a few more rexes to level up and we'll be ready to face the manticore at the very least on gamma level and of course we did get the cool sword skin from doing the, the ruins of Nosti in each of the caves on the scorched earth map you do get these skins Unfortunately, I didn't find any weapons, any shotguns or rifles in any of our cave runs. And of course, I've picked up plenty of loot drops across the map, so we'll have to make do in this fight without any shotguns. So we'll just have to, for the most part, avoid it, but we'll do our first test run in the next episode. We did, of course, manage to get them apprentice pants, and we've got the Mastercraft gloves there with our alpha wyvern skinned gloves but that about covers it for this episode don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the arc content from myself but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you